Hello, I'm going to show you how to create a simple SCADA with c -sharp, WPF and COPC DLL. You can download COPC DLL and WPF template under video description. The template comes with animation functions include rotation, fletching, mixing, and OPC server connection. There are also graphic library examples used for simple graphic monitoring. After downloading installation file, unzip and put the template into Visual Studio template folder. and register COPC DLL. To register COPC DLL, double-click on Registration Context Menu .rec. Copy COPC DLL into operating system drive. Right click on COPC DLL. Then select Register Component. To create the project, open Visual Studio and create new c -sharp WPF project. Select COPC DLL WPF SCADA 04. Open main window. Go to Code View. Edit OPC server name. Number of OPC tag.
OPC tag name. And update rate. In this video, we connecting to Capeware OPC server. Please make sure that VLArray variable has array size equal to OPC tag number. This timer used for animation. You need to specify in timer interval. In this example, I use 200 millisecond interval. Now, I will show you how to create gauge showing OPC value. This gauge showing OPC tag value which has index number 3. Open meter window. Copy the meter. Get back to main window and face the meter. Click on the needle and then go to its property. Change the name to needle 1. Enter. Trying to rotate the needle to starting point and then see its transform. Rotation. Adjust the angle. For example, minus 44.5. This is the starting angle. Trying to ending angle. Forty-four point five. Enter. Now you know starting point and end point of the rotation. You need to know the center. Click on center point. This is the center point. We need to specify the center point in rotation function in the code. Calculate the range of the rotation. from minus 44.5 to 44.5 the end the ending point is 44.5 and the starting point is minus 44.5 then the total range is 89
Now get back to the code. Go to copc1.change. This is the example of the meter rotation. You need to specify the polygon name. In this example, it is needed one. And the center, X and Y. And the anchor of rotation. This is the total range. But we will specify the OPC tax value and then convert to scale range by this calculation. The OPC tax value multiplied by the total range and then divide by 1000 because the value of VL3 or OPC tag that has index number 3 has the maximum value 1000. Then we need to multiply by 1, uh, sorry, we need to dip, divide by 1000 or multiply by 0 0.001 and then minus by the starting point. The timer will start if the value of the first OPC tag is not false or zero. And will stop if the value of the first OPC tag is zero or false. All values of OPC tag will keep in VL variable. Now testing your program. Now put the label into main window to show OPC tag value. Now trying to writing some value to OPC text. Double click on click event of the button.
We will writing values to OBC tag K003. You need to specify the index number of the OBC tag. If you can't remember, go to the startup and then see the index number of the K003. and specify the value you need to put on the text box. Now testing. Writing some value and then hit submit. Just you can see the value of OBC tag has changed. This is the simple SCADA. Thank you for watching.